Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute since I've been out here in the shop and able to bring you guys another video. Uh, if you haven't seen the post, I tried to make a post uh, a while back. The real giveaway that I was doing, I did have a winner. Winner. Uh, I'm going to get that out to him you know, as soon as I can. Sean, congratulations again, my guy, if you're watching this. I will get that out to you, and I will send you an email to let you know when that uh, reel is going to be coming to you. Uh, I'm still working towards, I believe it was 250. I would do another giveaway, probably a Monster Bass giveaway, where you will receive either a box or a Monster Bass bag. So that way you guys can experience the, the, uh, the Monster Bass phenomenon get you some great lures, some great baits, and go out here, try them out on the water. And then I think when I hit 300, uh, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna reach out to uh, the guys over at Blackhawk. If you guys have watched my channel for my, um, whenever I do any of my gun stuff, um, I use a lot of Blackhawk products. Blackhawk is founded by a former Navy SEAL, so, He's very passionate about making sure he's getting good product for law enforcement and military guys. Uh, so I'm going to reach out to them, make sure that it's okay that I do this giveaway. And whenever I hit 300 subscribers, somebody, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but somebody is going to win something from Blackhawk. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But uh, sorry, guys, if y'all see me slur slurping. Sorry, slurping on this shake. Uh, I just got back from the gym. I'm wore out. And the best way that I know to refuel my body is by getting a protein shake. And if you guys haven't noticed the t-shirt here, I'm sure you guys have seen me wearing it before. But this is one of the t-shirts from Bucked Up. Bucked Up is a supplement company. I've been with them for about three to four years. Uh, great products. They taste great. Their vitamins are awesome, guys. I don't just buy the pre-workout and, and uh, protein shakes. I do buy their vitamins. They have gummy vitamins, uh, multivitamins, uh, vitamin C. I, because of my acid reflux, I can't have any kind of citrus or anything like that. So orange juice is out of the question for me. So I take their vitamin C gummies. They also have vitamin D. They have elderberry, they have apple cider vinegar, and they have melatonin to help you get some sleep to help you uh, recover. Because whenever you're doing your workouts and stuff, going to the gym is very important. That's where you're tearing down those muscles and getting your workout. But it's during the time that you're resting where your muscles are recuperating and rebuilding and getting good sleep is a big part of that and the best way to get you some good sleep is taking uh, some kind of a sleep aid melatonin you know something like that to help you get a full night's rest so I'm gonna drop a link down below guys uh, click on that link send you to the store go through there pick out what your goals are I would suggest for beginners they do have a beginner stack of everything where they've collaborated with their uh, ambassadors and their um, bodybuilders on what is the best product for a beginner. And so they put all that together. You get a shaker cup, uh, protein powder, which you do get to pick the flavor, uh, a pre-workout, stuff like that to help you start. They do have uh, products that's already blended as well as the raw products that you can uh, make your own little concoctions and stuff like that. But I would also suggest watching their YouTube videos because a lot of the uh, ambassadors will kind of give you some tips on what's the best products to put to get the best results for whatever your goals are. If that's building muscle, they'll tell you about that. Excuse me, my nose is... <clears throat> uh, if you're trying to lose weight, they will coach you on that. They also do a, a free boot camp. Uh, again, you go to the website and you'll see where the boot camp is. And it's basically... Uh, I think it's about a month to three it's about three months where you start your workouts and stuff taking your supplements and it's an online boot camp where they help coach you through your stuff 
and if you take pictures of the beginning of your boot camp and then take pictures at the end to see your results so bucked up is an awesome company uh I, I love their products i'm very very happy um so i'll leave that link down below also so if you guys see me sipping on this i apologize but i kind of wore myself out today so okay we're gonna jump into this this is monster bass this is the bag that i got for last month i haven't got my bag for october or not october excuse me for august which I have a, a slight announcement I'll make at the end of this video, but this is last month's. Now, please understand the the baits that are in these bags and in these boxes, they're not limited to either the month you get them or the season that you get them. Here we, we're in the summertime. Uh, here in Arkansas, the water gets really, really hot, probably mid 80s to mid 90s so a lot of these baits you can still fish them you just might have to fish them in different areas or you might even have to slow down the presentation depending on your area so don't don't think that these baits are only good since i got these uh in july don't think that these baits are only good in the month of july you can use these baits whenever just make sure you change up your presentation and uh, you know, the, the, the weights that you might be using, uh, the cadence on how you're working that lure, change that up, but these baits will work year round. So let's go ahead and jump into this. As always, you get a cool sticker from Monster Bass. Uh, this one right here, uh, it's a little bit different, but I like with the, uh, the tie dye colors and everything. It's more of like a, a piece and for me, sometimes when you go out fishing, that isn't a time where you can have peace of mind. You're out there in nature, and even if you don't catch any fish, again, you're getting away from the city. You're getting out in nature. It's a time to, to get back to a peace of mind. So I kind of like that. that. That's what it kind of puts me in the mind of is peace. Uh, as always, you get this cool card here for Fish Angler. Uh, if you don't know what Fish Angler is, it's an app. You can share your locations on where you catch fish. Uh, you know, you can post your catches and stuff like that. And it's a community of people, so you can share tips, ideas, tricks, little things like that. They also uh, give you a, like a little forecast to tell you the best times to fish. You know, so it's a, it's a cool little deal. If you guys have had Fish Brain, Fish Angler is kind of the same thing. So you know, pick and choose which one you want. Uh, I don't see my little booklet in here. Normally these come with a booklet to tell you about your lures, but you know what? We don't need that. So right here we have Bucket Brand. This is called Donkey Snacks. It's a hollow body frog. cool looking color and then that is very soft so basically with this frog this is their um, walking style very weedless throw this around grass lily pads the the usual suspects uh, lay downs and you're gonna do a walking the dog so you kind of want you uh, I would say seven foot and shorter rod because in order to work this lure you will have to work your rod tip down and you don't want too long of a rod because then you're going to be slapping the water or hitting your boat but this thing is super soft and you can see how it's like my hand rubbing my finger across here is not touching the hooks at all but when that fish bites on this thing that plastic is so soft that it just you know shows the hooks if you guys can see that how that hook is exposed good hookup ratios and stuff to help with the walking if those legs are too long for you you can trim those up the only thing is now if you decide you want the longer legs after you've trimmed it you can go out to the stores and buy skirt material and run it through there and make your legs long again if you want to uh, 
I would normally say unless you're going to buy a couple of these, a couple of frogs, so that way you can have some that you can trim and then some that you leave long, I would do that. Otherwise, I probably would not trim because a lot of times you'll trim them and then you'll be like, well, I probably should have left them uh, long and it's too late to go back. And then you have to go buy skirt material and, and try to start all over. But good bait to throw early in the mornings or at least when you got a lot of uh, vegetation around. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, we have some missile bait baby destroyer in a candy grass color uh, you got 10 of these go ahead and open these if you guys don't know missile baits is a company that uh, Bassmaster Elite John Cruz started this is a nice small compact bait I would probably uh, pitch this into some grass or flipping it and by downsizing this, this is the baby destroyer. There is another destroyer that's a bigger size. By downsizing this, when those fish are getting real finicky and lethargic, uh, not wanting to chase something big, downsizing like this is a good way to get some of those uh, bites that probably would be a little bit harder. Uh, what is this again? Candy grass. So on the top, you have some purple flake and a purplish color on the top. And then on the bottom, you have some teal colored flakes and more of the green pumpkin color on the bottom. So good, good color right there. Like I said, a good all around color any time of the year. Uh, probably just change up your presentation as far as if you're fishing in grass. Probably want to throw that with uh, some braided line and just vary the size of your weights if it's thick grass you probably want a heavier weight so it'll get through that grass a lot easier something more sparse and spread out you can probably get away with um, maybe a quarter ounce weight uh, that'll be good enough to get you through that grass and working it and you know very very sensitive and feel those bites if you're going to be fishing this around lay downs and stuff i'd probably go with a fluorocarbon okay right here we have v and m uh these look like just some regular old worms but uh v and m these are watermelon red so watermelon red is a good color uh, i would say next to green pumpkin watermelon red is one of those go-to colors to use uh this looks like there's 18 in here and these are six and a half inches so good summertime bait those long baits uh, you could throw this either on a Texas rig. Uh, you might even be able to Nico rig this. Shaky head. Uh, again, watermelon red. So you've got that uh, watermelon color or that green pumpkin color with red flake in it. And again, like I said, this is a really, really good staple color. Like I'm looking at my little screen here on the camera and I can see that red flakes from right here where I'm holding this. And that's about five to six inches away from the camera but that red is coming through really good 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 bait right here to throw you can't go wrong with that uh, next I'm pulling out big bite baits these are their 4.5 smallie smashers this is called chick magnet so you've got 10 of these. Okay, so again, we're dealing with hot weather. So your fish are probably going to be out deep. A uh, good time for a uh, shaky head. Or not shaky head, I'm sorry. Drop shot. This is a great drop shot lure. Uh, you could probably nose hook it or maybe even Texas rig this on, a, uh, on one of those uh, drop shot setups. You might even be able, with the right size jig head, you might even be able to get away with throwing this on a jig head. But as it says, smallie smasher. So I would probably throw this in bodies of water where, excuse me, where you have lots of smallmouth fish. And I'm pretty sure this would be like crushing. Okay. Right here we have a Norman Lures. Uh... It's a square bill crankbait, dives down four to six feet. Uh, 
trying to see where my other info is. So I can't see anything else, but square bill. So again, four to six feet deep. So you're throwing this shallow. Uh, remember when you're dealing with crankbaits, jerkbaits, things like that, the deeper you want to go in the water column, you're going to have to downsize on the test pound of your line. The higher you go, that line is going to keep it from getting down deep. So if that's what you're trying to do, I would probably start at about 10 pounds that'll get you down there bottom contact but then uh, if you're trying to hold it up just a little bit then probably go up to a 12 pound but again this is a square bill it's meant to run in shallow water so remember that uh, right here we have a Bagley uh, balsa again another uh, shallow water crankbait dives down two to four feet this one is a crawl pattern uh, that chartreuse uh, this is called the shallow sunny so again another shallow water crankbait that'll be really really good uh, throwing that around docks lay downs um, rip wrap stuff like that good spots for crankbaits and then they sent a pack of Daiichi red hooks uh, that red is to signify bleeding so you pair this up with some of these other soft plastics that gives that illusion that it's a bleeding uh, bait and it's injured and during this time the fish's metabolism you know they're not going to chase bait all that much so if you can present something and make it look like it's wounded to the fish that's an easy meal and if you can get it right there in their face more than likely they're going to hit it but uh you know always good choice to run those hooks uh you don't have to run them exclusively but it's good to kind of help with uh anything you can do to help entice those bites i'm sorry i didn't have a book to go with it but that was it that was everything that i got uh in july's monster bass uh my announcement guys i'm trying to make a purchase uh it's a pretty important purchase so the next couple of months i've had my monster bass account suspended that doesn't mean i'm gonna stop doing monster bass videos it's just i'm trying to pinch some pennies because i got to make a, a very very important purchase guys and so i'm gonna have my my subscription suspended for a couple of months that way I can try to pinch some pennies in certain places to make this purchase. And whenever I do, if I'm able to do that, I'll let you guys know about it. But Monster Bass has been really good to me. And I would hate to, to leave them. So they're helping me out with this. So, guys, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Uh, for those of you who've been subscribing and watching the videos, I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're helping me grow in ways that... I can't even really express so thank you thank you thank you if you guys haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button make sure you click the bell so you get notified every time I do videos if you like the videos please smash that thumbs up button as well as drop comments let me know what you guys want to see I'm gonna try to get out on the water sometime because it's kind of hard it's crazy to do a fishing video without actually fishing and I have fallen off on that big time, guys, because the last couple of months work has been really crazy for me. I've been patrolling on night shift and I haven't patrolled on night shift in a lot of years, guys. So it was taking a lot out of me and I just didn't have the energy or the time to get out here in the shop to make videos. So things are about to settle down for me as far as work goes. So then I'll be able to get out on the water, knock out some fishing videos, as well as get back out on the gun range and get videos out there as well. So guys, please drop comments. Let me know what you guys want to see as well as, you know, as far as fishing go, as well as the gun stuff, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'll do my best to get those videos and also share these videos because then it's going to help the channel grow and YouTube. So guys, thank you. I appreciate it. I love you. Till the next time, guys. See you guys in the great outdoors.